A strategic plan that starts with an environmental analysis. And that, we're going to talk about each of these pieces and parts, but the first part is what's called the external audit. Or said another way, reality. Reality is going wherever it wants to go. Uh, you have a choice of forming your business to aim at that reality, but most of us aren't strong enough to affect reality. I just ask the tool makers in, in this community. You remember doing a, a, a presentation for the Dayton Tool Makers Association, DTMA, years ago, and there were 500 people in the room, all talking about the good old days, all talking about how the government needs to step back in because so much had gone offshore, all of them talking about it just a matter of time before people experience that lousy quality from, from China, and they'll come back to us by God and we'll show them. Then I talked to the 300 of them a year later who were still left, who were talking about the same stuff. And then I talked to the 150 of them who don't want to change. And so I said, I'll see 50 of you next year, the ones of you who are left, the ones who get over it and recognize that reality is reality. Whether you like it or not, the marketplace will go where it wants to go. And if you want to be a viable enterprise, it's up to you to figure out how you can participate in that reality. The other part of reality is the internal audit. That's your competency. Uh, when we first started this program back in 1994, uh, Clay Mattel, myself, and Bill Matthews were sitting around saying, you know, if we can really help people figure out how to plan, uh, we can help companies prosper and get to their next level. And so we started teaching just this course, or a version of it. And as we were teaching the course and we got into people's companies, we recognized that the plan wasn't the issue, people competency was the issue. Uh, too many people in one company with the same last name. Uh, too many companies where you hired the person you can afford, not the talent level you needed. You know, my brother Ralph's unemployed, he's better than nothing, and he'll work for 40 grand. I think I'll hire him. He sits up, takes nourishment unaided, he's not much of a problem, he's got a clean track record, right? As opposed to saying, hey, what I really need is a level of talent. So we said, we better go back and address the talent levels that operate within enterprises, not just the plan. I mean, a plan without people competency is just a waste of your time. You still have to execute it at the end of the game. These two parts that we'll talk about will get us into talking about you know, the, the assumptions, the key assumptions you're going to draw for the future. And basically, they are what they are. Reality is going someplace. My competency is going someplace. That draws us some basic planning assumptions that I go forward with. And then I'm going to look at my vision mission, and values. This is a bias we have. Uh, lots of people say, well, you're at the wrong end. That should come first. We say, your vision and mission are only valid if marketplace reality allows them to be valid. So we don't care what you'd like to do. We want to make sure it's possible to get it done. So we want to see, after we know where the real world is headed, and again, this is the reality piece, This is the reality piece. Now we come down here and say, OK, now we can start talking about focus. And the focus is really built upon your vision, mission, and values. We'll talk about priority issues, the things you should plan around. These are the make or break issues of an enterprise. And we don't have a bias that says you should plan for everything. We think there's only a few things that will make you successful, and there's only a few things that will cause you to derail. So we want to focus on those things that are critically important. Qualified people in all key positions. Uh, having the right technology to keep pace with your industry. Managing the rate of your business growth. We've studied about 1,500 companies now, and one of the things we learned about is the cause of small business failure. Number one, high growth without people competency. Far and away the number one killer of a business. The thing ran away with you. It got better than your people, better than your system. And the second major reason for business failure is a fear of investment because you're spending your own personal monies. So you, you hang back with lesser talent than you need. <clears throat> you use old equipment. 
I mean, you don't put the systems in you need to track your businesses and monitor your outcomes. Those are business killers. We can't blame you, it's your money. But the fear is, well, if I, if I just kind of hang in here, and I watch consulting companies go under all the time because the, the primary consultant can't figure out how to share his or her income with other people coming in. They see a downside in what they're going to do, so they don't hire anybody. So I say, well, then basically you're 90 days from the brink. You're just filling up your time. And if you ever get sick or try to go on vacation, you're unemployed. So if you want to build a company, you better invest in some people. If you're not going to invest in people, you don't have a business. You just, you just do an own personal consulting thing. Same thing happens in private enterprise. We have to invest in our businesses in order to manage the rate of our growth. And then last but not least, we'll talk about the competency down here. And that's nothing more than the right people, the right time spent, and the right resources expended, financial resources. And that gets down to the blocking and tackling of planning, which is setting objectives, having a strategy to accomplish those objectives, and specific action plans. And really an action plan is how you spend time, people, and money. That's what an action plan is. So that, that's really the difference between a strategic plan and a business plan. This is big picture stuff. It kind of looks far out in the future. It then figures out, am I focused appropriately against that, that future to make it work? Then it figures out specifically, what do I have to do to pull this off? Thank you for your interest. If you'd like more information, please visit www.aileron.net or call 888 888 880-6139